I'm testing to see if my wife watches my videos. I'm using her like fancy Dyson hair dryer thing to help peel the decals off the car. Welcome back to Mealing Racing. Just got the car painted and I am going to pull off all the decals. So I just had real basic stuff on here before. Not sponsors, wish they were. Um, I'm pulling off everything. So I got the driver's side of the car down to a clean slate. I'm just uh, got new wheels too, going from those to these. I'm gonna keep those so I have a spare set for the track, but here's, uh, Here's what it looks like with all the vinyl off. I'm probably gonna leave the driver has no cash sticker cause it's funny. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get going laying out uh, some sort of graphic on here. With, uh, I'm starting to lay out some stuff. I'm not gonna show you what I drew. You're just gonna have to wait and see. I got it laid out. Um, sorry, my, this garage is really small. It's hard to kind of get away from it, but, uh, I think that's going to look pretty cool. We're going to have the usual black and orange colors. And once I've got it on, I may kind of run it into the front fender or something. I'm not totally sure yet. See what it looks like once it's on there. And, uh, might even have to back it out of the garage to really figure it out. Anyway, so we're gonna uh, probably start laying out some cut tape and putting some color on here. Okay, I've got the black. I'm gonna do the black on here first, I think. Got my knifeless tape. I don't know if you've ever seen this, but I'll kind of show you how this stuff works. It's friggin' awesome. I'm gonna lay out uh, this top line in black first. I'll show you how that, that happens. Here's what this stuff looks like. It's, you lay it out with the uh, filament right on the line that you want to cut. And then you lay your vinyl over top of it and you peel that filament through your vinyl and then it cuts it and then you pull the green stuff out from underneath afterwards. All right, so we got the vinyl laid on there. This one piece, this 2083M stuff has a cap sheet on it now, so pull that off before you cut it, I'd say. So you got the, you pull the filament out from underneath and make sure your vinyl's pressed down really good. Kind of pull it a 45 and that's it. All right, I'll show you on the, a little piece here, a little short one. So you pull the filament out of there and through the, the vinyl and then you kind of pull it a 45 like you're pulling off tape and you just yank it right through and that cuts your line. You pull your the green stuff out of here and that's it. And you got to perfect line where you wanted it now you got to remember which order you put these on in because obviously if I tried to pull these ones before that one it won't cut through the other filament and if it did then you wouldn't be able to grab anything but yeah now I'll uh, pull these other two and that'll draw that line I already got this upper one drawn or cut whatever you want to call it here's what it look, looks like before I uh, put the vinyl on so I got all these lines drawn here. I'm kind of piecing this part together because there's this piece, the corner of this molding, the door, and then this back piece that's gonna go black. So I'm gonna put this piece on here and then pull the tape. There's it stuck down. Pull that piece, then that piece, then that piece, and then I just trim 
this with a knife and wrap it around the edge of the door and tuck a little bit in under this molding. Knife was tape and I still managed to cut myself somehow. That's the black. Lines, little arrow looking thing runs around the back. Now I got this kind of charcoal gray color that is gonna go in here and down there and down here. And then you can probably guess what color is gonna go in the remaining spots. I made a bit of a mess. Anyways, I uh, got the black and the gray done. And then we're gonna put orange there, orange there, orange there. And then, I don't know, numbers here-ish. And some logos or something back there. I'm not sure yet. But uh, so far I think it's looking pretty cool. I think it'll really start to pop once I get the orange on there. And I'm probably gonna end up wrapping the color around on the inside there and maybe over this. But that's it for tonight, so we'll be back at it tomorrow. getting bigger anyways I got the first orange stuff on it uh, definitely makes it pop um, in hindsight I probably should have removed the door handle it would have been a lot easier to wrap but I sort of got it race car quality good enough and uh, I shouldn't have bought the cheapest tape at Walmart it's kind of not fun to get off so it doesn't really matter because I'm not using it to actually like make a line like I'm painting but it does make it hard to get off anyways this is where I'm at right now I'm gonna put orange in this hole and then decide what to do with all this do not buy the cheapest tape on the shelf oh my god God, this stuff's annoying. All right, that's one side done. I am gonna cut some decals to go in that big blank area and then probably put the race numbers on the side of the fender here. But uh, now I have to duplicate this on the other side, which I'm not really looking forward to. It's a few days later, I finished this side and I've got my wife's fancy Dyson hair dryer out again. And uh, I'm gonna peel all these off and then start laying out this side, which is gonna be harder because I'm gonna try and make it match the other side. So, should be interesting. finally deciding to lay out this side it's been a little bit more interesting than the other side just to try and make it match but uh, I wrapped the handle first this time because it's the worst part and uh, my Mishimoto rad shoe showed up too so I got a Mishimoto X-Line triple core got the old aluminum radiator out of there. I took this oil cooler, moved it from between the radiator and the intercooler to here. It's gonna get a little fan on it because there's no holes here. Um, I don't know if that's gonna keep it cool enough or not, but we'll find out. 
So that's kind of a ongoing project while I do this. I'm tinkering away at that. And I also got my new wheel, well, one new wheel mounted. It's extremely tight to the brake caliper, but uh, they look awesome. And the fitment of the 285 on an 11 inch wheel is very good. I could probably go wider, but these tires only have like 10 minutes on them. So I'm gonna keep running those for now. So I'll probably do some more time-lapse stuff of this because it's slow and tedious and not much fun to watch otherwise. So we'll get into that now. I think you get the point um that was quite a bit of time lapse i'm not expert at this so i'm not very fast at it and it is tedious and there's a lot of pieces anyways i'm going to finish this and another one here and the rocker and then it'll be time to start doing logos and stuff and maybe something up here I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with the front fenders and the hood yet, but uh, I'm going to get this done and then start working on logos, numbers, all that kind of stuff. All right, I finished delivery. It uh, looks really good. I left a little bit out of it from the video just to kind of save a little bit for the end for a surprise. I'm going to pull it out of the garage now and you can check it out. Enjoy. <laughs> intents and purposes done it'll get um, probably more stuff added in here like I got to put my class and probably a few more decals and stuff as far as sponsors and whatnot go but uh, for now it's just the main one for function autosport in Kelowna mirror image customs hit me on Insta and uh, yeah that's her I don't know if I'm gonna do more on the front or not. I almost kind of like that it's a little bit more plain from the very front. But uh, I'm really happy with how it looks. It's the first time I had it out of my tiny garage so I could actually stand back and have a look at it. 
Um, I've got a little bit more work to do for track day on April 13th with Speed Fanatics, but other than that, it runs and I'll see you in about a week at Area 27.